Duke Energy just awarded $500,000 to grants and first responders. Scarlett Lizjack explains how this money is going to help the community respond to disaster. For the past three years, Duke Energy has been helping small organizations boost their emergency preparedness. Some of the smaller organizations across the state may not have access to funding for some of the things, the tools, the training that they need to respond to Mother Nature. And so we wanted to do our part to provide that funding. Duke Energy says fire departments, law enforcement, and cities could request up to $20,000 to help fill the gaps. Communications tools, uh, think radios and, and specific types of radios that help uh, law enforcement, that help first responders, emergency management officials uh, when after a, a storm has come through. We also see uh, support for training uh, first responders that they may not otherwise be able to access. So it's, there's a lot of different things that each type of department or organization are, are in need of. Cherokee County Emergency Management says they need more shelter supplies. We want to double our capability. So what we applied for was 100 regular cots, uh, 10 special needs cots. The amenities to go with those, blankets, pillows, things that the shelterees would need to be here. Director Doug Bauer says the $20,000 grant will help the county become more self-sufficient. The risk of a tornado touching down, um, winter weather with I-85, uh, you've got thousands of people a day that travel 85, that they get stranded, um, just any kind of a, a severe event. If we have to put them up in the shelter, Sometimes we can call on Red Cross to take care of that for us, but this will give us the capability um, with what we already have on hand to be able to take 200 people and put them up and us not have to worry about outside resources. Cherokee County Emergency Management says this year is the second time they've received the grant. In Cherokee County, Scarlett Liz Jack, 7 News. And Duke Energy is saying over the past three years, there have been 99 grant recipients with a total of $1.5 million donated.